This is BBC News. In the next 60 minutes, all the UK's top stories, together with the latest developments on the major international stories of the day. A fragile ceasefire in Sudan and the rush to get out. 300 British nationals have flown out of the country via Cyprus. These are the pictures as the first flight arrives back here in the UK. And I'm Lewis Vaughan Jones here in Cyprus, the hub of the UK rescue effort. Now, the government's still saying they expect eight flights to leave Sudan and bring people to safety here. In our other headlines, in Russia, the jailed opposition activist Alexei Navalny is now charged with terrorism offences. And President Zelensky says he had a long and meaningful conversation with the Chinese leader, their first since Russia's invasion of his country. Hello and welcome to BBC News. Uh, let's start in Sudan because thousands of people are continuing to flee from that country while the temporary ceasefire still holds. Germany and France say all of their citizens have now left the country. Four planes carrying British nationals have now arrived in Cyprus. Officials have said flights will continue around the clock. The latest is that 301 Britons have been evacuated so far. The ceasefire is broadly holding. There have been some reports of clear